Step 1 is to download all 3 files and install Audacity. I already have it installed so I'm going to skip that step. Step 2 is to convert the mp3 file so it matches these requirements. So let's do that. Drag it here. Tracks. Resample. 48,000 hertz. Edit. Preferences. 48,000 hertz for the project. Make sure the quality is the best quality. And here we're going to double check the format is in 32 bits. And go ahead and export as mp3. Constant bit rate, 160 kilobits, and joint stereo. Okay. okay. Now we can close Audacity, and we can get rid of the first sample, so we don't get confused. Step 3 is to convert the mp3 file into a dot chunk file using frosty sound import. Let's go ahead and make a new folder. Unzip the contents to a new folder. Then we move the sample mp3 to that new folder. And we can open a command prompt. An easy way to do this is to just type cmd into the file explorer search bar. Okay, so now we input the command. We start by typing the name of the exe file, followed by dash e for encode, the name of the input mp3 file, dash o for outputs, and then we name the name of the output, whatever name you want it to be. That's that chunk. So now we're given some information that we're going to need later on. So we can minimize this for now. So that gave us our chunk file right here. Okay, now we're gonna use Frosty Editor. Go ahead and extract it. selected it you can go ahead and, and just look for it okay now we head over to the music file that we want to replace so if you want to find music you go to audio music and here we have all the music playlists intense is for time trials circuit races and sprints Party is for free roam and unruly is for drifts. I'm going to be using here it comes as an example. Double click the asset. We're gonna go to chunks, expand this one, and we're gonna get the chunk ID. Can I go ahead and copy it? View chunk rest editor. Open that. We're gonna look for it the file here and here you're going to click import you're going to go to the, the file we just made the chunk file so that should have imported I'm going to go back here and here we're going to use the information from the terminal the chunk size I'm going to go ahead and copy it here And also, we're going to need the segment length, which is this number. Close and reopen the asset. 
Now we can test it. There you go. Now you can go ahead and save your project and you can open the game. And the game should uh, play that music file instead of the game's original music file. This next part is completely optional. This is if you want to change the, the music file's metadata. Go to Genesis Music Assets. So what you do is you go ahead and export this as an XML file. So and save it to your desktop. Here you can open it with a with a, with any text editor is fine. So even like Notepad is fine. And we're gonna look for the title of the song that we just replaced. And that name is here it comes. So we go ahead and look for it. Here it comes. And here we're gonna get that uh, metadata ID, which is this. Gonna copy it. We're gonna go back to the Genesis Music Assets. And we're gonna go here to the metadata. Click here. Paste that number there. Can you click here? And now you expand this, and now you can hear you can see the title and the artist. Maybe you can just go ahead and just change the title to what it was, which is Sunflower by Post Malone. And you can save it. Go ahead and save your project wherever. And that's it. Doing this is a hassle for especially for all the songs, but if you really like the game, it might make your experience better. Plus maybe you learn something new too.